Hello, James Brannan here, and welcome to this mini coaching session which is designed to help you become clearer about the following few questions that you might have been asking yourself. Should I stop smoking? Can I stop smoking? Do I want to stop smoking? And the one that I'm most interested in your answer to is the third one. Do I want to stop smoking? Because when you can truly answer that one, then the other two tend to resolve themselves anyway. Now this coaching session combines strategies from life coaching and motivational interviewing, both excellent ways of facilitating your thinking so that your mind becomes clearer and decisions become easier. And at the end of this process, you might feel clearer and decide that you really do want to stop smoking. Or you might decide that you want to continue smoking and I respect whatever you choose. Now when we contemplate something like stopping smoking, we inevitably experience at least some ambivalence. Ambivalence being a state of indecision and uncertainty, where we feel torn between things. Part of us feels like it gets something from smoking, and another part keeps reminding us of why we should stop. Well, there we go. My theory says that focusing on whether we should or if we can tends to maintain the ambivalent state. And so what we want to do instead is really hone in on getting more clarity about how much you want to stop smoking. I think it's safe to say that none of us like being in a state of ambivalence, and it's perhaps inevitable that at some point your mind will get fed up with it anyway and bring it to a point where it will be resolved, sort of march it into the courtroom as such for judge and jury. Only in this session you can rest assured that it is your own internal judge and jury alone. It's your decision. And this short process here is simply to facilitate your own thinking without any interference from any outside opinions or shoulds. We're going to resolve some of that ambivalence and see if we can get some movement on that third question. How much do I want to stop smoking or do I want to stop smoking? Because when you get clear about that question, you will be starting to empower the states within you that can really drive you forwards in the ways that you want. And a brief side note about the can I question, can I stop smoking? A part of you is already aware that literally millions of people have in fact stopped smoking already. It's likely that you know someone who stopped and that they know someone who stopped. And when you walk along a busy street, it would be almost impossible not to pass somebody who once stopped smoking. The fact is, you can stop, and the relevance is better pointed towards do you want to, because that's where the power is. Now, I'm going to ask you to grab a pen and paper, because I'm going to guide you through a series of carefully designed questions which start to allow your mind to become freer in its thinking. And I'm going to ask you to jot your answers down because writing your answers goes beyond just thinking them. Writing crystallizes the thought process in your mind and allows your mind to see its thought again and reflect more powerfully on it. So please grab a pen and paper. Good. Now the next thing is write fast. Jot your answers in brief note form and write whatever comes to your mind first, because what first comes to the mind tends to be your most genuine, unconscious answers. So I will give you a short time between questions, but not very long, so just jot. Don't worry about neatness. Now, before we go on to that series of questions that link together, I'm going to ask you to rate yourself at the present time, in this moment now, on a scale of 0 to 10, how much do you want to stop smoking? And answer quickly, first number that comes to mind, how much do you want to stop smoking? If a 0 means that you don't want to stop at all, and a 10 is the highest possible, go ahead and jot it down. Good. Now, if your answer was a 0 out of 10, 
then you don't have much ambivalence. And if it was 10 out of 10, you don't have much ambivalence. If it's a zero, you're probably best off leaving this process for now for a later time and coming back to it when you feel that you might want to stop. Now, if you said it's a 10 out of 10, you might as well go straight forward and book the process with me because you're definitely ready to stop. However, chances are much more likely that you're somewhere between one and nine. And let's say if you put a five, well, let's see if we can get some momentum and some movement on that number after this short process. Let's see if we can get that momentum going. Good, so let's move on to those series of questions now. Okay, so question one is why might you want to stop smoking? Jot your answer down or jot your answers down. Why might you want to stop smoking? Now I've said I'll give you just a short time. You can pause in between questions if you want to as well, but don't give yourself too long. Keep writing quickly. Question two, how ready do you feel to stop smoking on a scale of zero to 10? So it's not the same as that first question of how much you want to stop smoking. How ready in this present time do you feel to stop smoking on a scale of zero to 10? Again, answer quickly, first question, first answer, sorry, that comes to mind. Good, and looking at that number, ask yourself, why isn't it a lower number than that? Now, listen very carefully to the question. So if you've answered a three, for example, why isn't it a one or a two? If you've answered a five, why isn't it a four or a three or less? Why is the number that high and not lower? Good, and jot your answer down. Okay, well done. Next, close your eyes for this one if it helps. Imagine it's one year from now, 365 days, and you are a non-smoker. Imagine you've done it and you've become a non-smoker and you haven't smoked for a year. Just get a sense of that in your imagination going. That's it. And answer this question, why is this important for you? Now I want you to write down five reasons. So pause the track if you need more time. Go ahead, jot fast now, write down at least five reasons. Why is this important to you? Okay, next, question four. How do you hope your life will be different one year from now? Go ahead and jot those answers down. Any ideas that flood into your mind? How do you hope your life will be different one year from now? Okay, and the next part to that question is, how would continuing to smoke contribute to that? How would continuing to smoke contribute to that? And the next part to that question is, how would stopping smoking contribute to that? How would stopping smoking contribute to that?
okay and pause if you'd like a little bit more time but don't give yourself too long next question question five how do you hope your life will be five years from now how do you hope your life will be different five years from now just jot down those different factors more this less that this got that that's it just get those points down fast Good. Now next, same thing as the last question in a way, the next part is how would continuing to smoke contribute to that, to those factors? How would continuing to smoke contribute to that? Good. And the next part, how would stopping smoking contribute to that? Okay. And pause if you need more time, but let's move on. Question six which is the last in this series of questions, then there's one more thing afterwards, so you're making great progress now. Question six, think about this. What do you care about most in life? What matters most is what I'm asking. What do you care about most in life? That's it. Trust those first answers that come to your mind really quickly because that's your unconscious response. That's your honest response. What you care about most in life. You'll have already put it down now, so trust that. And the next part again is, like before, how would continuing to smoke contribute to that? Jot it down fast. What you care about most in life. How would continuing to smoke contribute? finally the next part how would stopping smoking contribute to that so what you care about most in life how would stopping smoking contribute to that Okay, well done so far, and we're nearly there. Just one final part. In a moment, I'm gonna put a graphic up on the screen which has a four-part question to it, as you'll see. It's called the Decision Balance from Motivational Interviewing, and its value is in allowing your mind to weigh up your decisions without bias. It may seem like you're asking yourself the same four questions, by the way, but these are four slight variants and allow your mind the freedom to process as if approaching the question from four different angles, as you'll see. So here it is. Please go ahead and look at the decision balance on the screen. So starting with the top left hand corner, ask yourself, what's good about smoking if I don't stop? and jot your answer down. You could draw a cross with a vertical line and then a line going across it and, and uh, fill out those quadrants on a piece of paper. 
Top left, what's good about smoking if I don't stop? And answer that, get that down fast. What's good about smoking if I don't stop? Good, now answer the top right hand one. What's bad about smoking if I don't stop? Jot those answers fast, so what's bad about smoking if I don't stop? Well done. Now moving on fast, bottom left hand corner, what's good about stopping smoking if I do stop? Jot those answers down. What's good about stopping smoking if I do stop? Good. And finally, bottom right hand corner, what's bad about stopping smoking if I do stop? What's bad about stopping smoking if I do stop? And well done. Okay, you've completed this mini coaching session. And let's just quickly return to that original question. How much do I want to stop smoking? Now, rate that again for yourself in this moment on that zero to 10 scale. Is it still the same? Is it different? You come up with whatever comes to your mind. On a zero to 10 scale, how much do I want to stop smoking? That's it, just choose now and jot down whatever number you feel best represents you when you ask yourself that question. Okay, good, well done. So what's next? Well, you're going to decide whether you want to experience and activate a genuinely effective process to help you stop smoking. As part of this process, by the way, I offer you a phone personalized coaching session this is optional, you don't have to do that part. If you feel that you're very ready to stop smoking, that might be less relevant to you. But if you have any uncertainty or remaining sort of push-pull ambivalence inside about whether you're going to do it or whether you want to, then this on-the-phone coaching session will help with that. You also get, of course, a whole lot more. You get two sessions with me of an hour and a half long in person where we will apply a range of excellent techniques, including some hypnotherapy, which I think you'll really enjoy. Most people, by the way, leave with a big smile on their face and actually enjoyed the process. You also get access on this website, or if you're not on the website, then at thecompleteway.com, to some very powerful mind conditioning tracks, which cooperate very well with all else that we do to support you further. And there's a couple of videos of techniques to reduce cravings. And also, I'm here at the end of the phone or email to support you at any time, of course. And so if you are ready to start this process, then it's a very quick and easy thing to get yourself booked in. It takes just one or two minutes. There's a secure gateway to pay by any credit or debit card, and you get a confirmation and receipt emailed to you right away. Then you get immediate access to start the process. A new web page opens up for you and guides you all the way. So if you are ready, then simply hit the start button below this and it will take you through to the booking page and the paying page that is. Or if you have any questions or if you'd just simply like to discuss things more and see if this might be a good fit for you, then please simply call me on the number shown here. Now, I might be with a client at some time, so you can leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But anyway, for now, well done in doing this mini coaching session. Thank you for doing it. And I look forward, if you choose to, to meeting you soon. Wishing you the best.